Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to build this Cumbria Elite board from Free Code Camp. And I'm using CodePad. I have made some settings here. I'm using guest CSS and then in JavaScript I'm only using um, Angular of course. Um, in CSS you can use Bootstrap and that way you will make it beautiful in an easier way. So I'm going to write to start writing my HTML. Um, when you're using uh, Angular, the first thing that you have to do is to include in your body the ng app. The ng app directive tells AngularJS that this is the root element of the AngularJS application. The next thing that you got to do is to use a controller. So the ng controller uh, directive adds a controller to your application and then you can start building inside there. So I'm going to have two rows. In the first row I'm going to add a call extra small 12 and then as a bootstrap class I'm using the table header and I'm going to give the name leaderboard frequent comp. Then I have the main row. Inside there I'm going to use again the call extra small 12 but you can use whichever you like and then I have the class table board date and table hover. I'm going to have a table head and inside there I'm going to start building. I'm going to have a row of Cumber, that's why I have the class named Cumber. And then I'm going to have my columns. The first column is going to refer in the numbers. The next is going to be the Cumber name. And from there I'm going to continue to the last 30 days and all the time. I'm also going to use the ng click. And the ng click um, is also another directive that tells Angular what to do when an HTML element is click. Now I would also like to mention that uh, in this Cambrel leaderboard we have some user stories and I'm going to read this from free code camp. Um, first of all you can see table of the free code camp campers who've earned the most brownie points in the past 30 days and then you can see how many brownie points they've earned in the past 30 days and how many they're earned in total. You can toggle between sorting the list by how many brownie points they've earned in the past 30 days and by how many brownie points they've earned in total. Alright, and I'm going to do the same with all the time. and now I think that we are ready to continue and this uh, this all was for the head and now we are going to continue with the body we are going to use the ng repeat which is also directive and it's like loop in javascript I'm going to have a variable named Cumber which is going through uh, all the Cumbers and then you're going to have sorted or you can have a filter and we will name this order by sort column and reverse sort and then once again we'll have a row with the class Cumber and here we will have an index plus one and then again class name and now what we're going to do is to include a reference so every time we are clicking in a camber we can go in his profile in free code camp I'm, go I'm only going to show in the table an image of the camber and note his name but when you click uh, sorry when you hover on this image then you will see his name 
and you will be able of course to go to his uh, free code camp profile so I will have the class profile image IMG and you will see me styling in, in the CSS and with the title you are going to see his or her name alright and last but not least we will have the recent and all time and that's it for the body too and we are going to finish like this our table and after this if you want you can write your own footer I'm not going to include it here right now but I always like to add a footer uh, just a few things in the CSS and we're not going to finish it now in the body I'm going to add the background color and a padding I've also added two colors one of them is light gray and the other one is free coat cam green color of course you can use your own colors the most important thing of course is the JavaScript code which um, I have already started writing so you'll have uh, a var my amp equals angular dot module board up and then you have no dependency and my app dot controller board controller and function scope HTTP request and now we need the get HTTP request first I'm going to write the function it's very simple, you just write then function response and scope compares equals response to data. I'm going to copy and paste from uh, the frequent comp the, the URL to, to make the get request. Okay, and we did it and now you can see how we get all the data from this URL. I'm going to continue a little bit with JavaScript and then we are going to style it. Okay, let's start uh, styling now better. Maybe it's better. We have the table header with a background color which is green, free code count. And then we also have a font size of 22 pixels, color white and padding 10 pixels. As for the table, I'm only going to give it a width of 100% and I don't need anything else. Also, I'm going to add a padding 10 pixels and text align center. And now I'm going to add two other classes, name and profile IMG with width 60 pixel, border 1 pixel, solid and this green color and if you want to make it circle uh, then you can add border radius of 50% Alright, so you can see everything is working great so far one more thing that I would like to add is to make the profile image with a hover effect and uh, every time you will hover the image uh, it, will be, it will pop up a little bit, just 70 pixel. Alright, so now it's time to create the two arrows, one will be up and one will be down and these are going to be uh, the last two classes that we are going to write for the CSS. We're going to create the borders, we need left, right and top and each one will be 5 pixels, solid and the color will be transparent but of course here you can change the color uh, to black like you can say that border top is black and border bottom is black so I think that I'm going to change that later but keep that in mind now in the JavaScript, you've already written the scope, sort column equals name and reverse sort equals false and then you're going to write another function which will be sort data. Inside sort data we need scope reverse sort equals 
scope dot short column equals column and that scope dot reverse short or false and scope short column equals column okay and you are going to continue with get short class we will write an if statement so if scope dot short column equals equals column then we will get a return scope dot reverse short and this will be down or up and I need one more return and now we're almost done I think I'm missing something here because I can't see the old time last 30 days are working fine so let me check the code once again for all the time hmm. maybe the link in javascript let me check with another one no i think it's the same okay i will check for the the HTML code maybe? I forget to close the tag. Okay, yes, that's it. Okay, so you need to close the div tag. I forgot to do it, but uh, it's okay. I'm going to leave all the code in the description box, both in my CodePen account or in my GitHub, so you can use whatever you like. Um, and now let's see if everything is working great. So if you click uh, an image, then you can go to the profile of the camber and let's get a full view alright, once again we can see the images, we can see the name alright we have 100 uh, campers, so that's also great now we can have the last 30 days, the old time Alright, and that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.